Alrighty, this is the craziest find slash information slash anything to come out of Canada's Wonderland in my history of being alive. Like, and I mean that. I'm not overhyping anything. We have dived deep. Like, we have literally overanalyzed every inch of these survey markings in this area and put so much information together, but I do want to stress, this is information that is coming out of my head and my friend group's head, um, so we are piecing together puzzles that may not necessarily be 100% true. We don't know anything about this project outside of what could possibly go be going on with Action Zone. Um, I don't even know where to start with that. So I'm going to say watch the podcast tonight at 9.30 p.m. 9.30 p.m. the podcast will start. We'll talk a little bit more about kind of like my thoughts on Action Zone and what I know. But it's so funny because a week ago I had received some sort of information about Action Zones and Cedar Fair Parks. Suddenly on the opening day of Canada's Wonderland, survey markings stretch across literally 100% of Action Zone. Outside of Flight Deck, we scoured Flight Deck and Time Warp. There are none in there. Sad face. But nonetheless, this restaurant has been closed so far. It is just the beginning. It is hard to tell if this is going to be permanent. But when you look inside, it does not look like this is going to open. It looks like a lot of the equipment has been removed. Um, but again, that could change. It's easy to fix that. So I'm just going to say, I don't know for sure if that restaurant's going to open this season or not open this season, but it's not looking too good. They boarded up the windows. Um, they cut down that really cute cherry blossom tree as well. I just wanted to show that in case, um, they were surveying, they were all going all the way into Kingswood at one point. Um, and we do find survey markings that go all the way out towards the parking lot where that second entrance is, isn't used as a second entrance yet but it goes all the way out to those structures there and everything. So it makes you really think about how big this expansion could be. With that being said, um, it's just absolutely insane. So you have markings on behemoth supports. You have markings leading down to um, backlot stunt coaster. You have markings all over Kingswood. You have markings on the basketball game behind Cyclone. They are everywhere. And then they stop. Where World Expo begins, they stop. So with the information that I was informed about, um, about Action Zone, this adds up. And if this is it literally about to happen sometime in the next five years? That's insane because this is going to be Canada's Wonderland's largest expansion in history. Let me repeat that. This will be Canada's Wonderland's largest expansion in history. And the funny thing is, it doesn't look like it's going to be a multi-year expansion. It looks like this could potentially be a one-two punch, which could be absolutely insane. So here's a few of my thoughts. I'm not going to go totally into detail until the podcast tonight at 9.30 p.m. Um, and then I'll start talking about it more in depth when I get back to the park later today. I'm recording this Saturday morning before I go um, to look at any more survey markings that they have placed. Again, they were doing this and we didn't even get to film them all. But nonetheless, uh, Surya and I are convinced that they are currently marking roller, a roller coaster layout. Um, and we'll talk about that on the podcast just because of the areas it's covering. Obviously, the distance markings are showing the area. It encompasses all of Action Zone, which is telling in itself. So they're surveying the entirety of Action Zone and Kingswood. That's a large pot of land. But what I'm thinking is that we're going to possibly see a new entrance actually be built at the Kingswood area. And it's going to lead into a brand new themed area. And it makes sense now. What possible theme could be coming to Action Zone? I don't know yet. Is World Expo going to expand into Action Zone? Is the County Fair going to come um, to Action Zone? I don't know the exact theme. I just know that the Behemoth Paint Job, the closing of the possible Coasters restaurant, and the surveying all over is definitely pointing towards the information that I received that Action Zone's time at Canada's Wonderland was coming to an end. And now that these marking, like, I, I can't even begin to explain to you guys. I received this information, and I was like, okay, cool. Um, it makes sense. We're starting to see them slowly um, be renovated. They're not the best-looking parts of the parks. Um, and then, literally a week later, bam. So, I, I my mind's blown there. But it's so crazy 
that this plot of land, this corner of the park is so valuable to Canada's Wonderland that this could end up being anything. So it's going to take a while to fully digest the yellow survey markings. Those circles are what encompasses like the main survey markings that we could find yesterday. We obviously can't see into Kingswood, so we don't know what's in there. So I can't circle anything in there. The red area encompasses the entire possible area. Um, and it, it's just like, I, I, I'm shocked right now. Can you tell by my voice? Can you tell by my stuttering? Like, this is insane. Behemoth's paint job has been held off for obvious reasons now. To me, it is so obvious that they have not painted Behemoth for a reason. Um, it, oh my goodness, like, this is crazy. Like, this could possibly be the biggest coaster at Wonderland as well. Like, the, the size of the, like, the area, the possible location, like, just inside Kingswood. Um, but I will tell you, there has been no signs of construction markings in Time Warp and Flight Deck. So we were looking because we we're like, oh my god, are they going to remove them? Because then this thing's massive. So we'll rule out a couple things as of now. Time Warp and Flight Deck don't appear to be on the chopping block for this expansion as of yet. Um, Mind Buster doesn't appear to be on the chopping block for this expansion as of yet. Um, and the area definitely encompasses the walking paths of Action Zone, so that's telling in itself as well. So we know that it's definitely something to do with Action Zone, because especially the fact that the markings stop right into World Expo, so that is telling in itself as well. Now, what really gets confusing, and what you're going to hear us talk about on the podcast tonight at 9.30 p.m., is... What's going to happen with this possible Frontier Canada expansion that we were expecting for 2025? We know, and I can say that with confidence, we know Canada's Wonderland is getting a coaster in 2025. So is it going to be Frontier Canada like I was predicting, or is it this area? Because now I'm confused. Like, I genuinely am confused because... It could end up being this area. It, it all comes down to, did the survey markings, these exact style too, that appeared last season over by Action Theater, Whitewater Canyon, um, mean something's coming there? Or is it going to be a flat ride expansion and an Action Theater upgrade in that area for 2024? And then this area is 2025. This is a huge possibility. And this timeline is starting to add up with these construction markings and all that for a 2025 coaster. So now I'm really lost, guys. But we'll talk about it on the podcast tonight at 9.30 p.m. I just wanted to drop this bomb information and show you the area as a total because this is insane. Anyways, thanks so much for watching today's, I guess, pre-construction update. Um, I will see you guys at the park today and tomorrow, and I will update you on any information in the podcast tonight, any upgrades or any significant changes to this area tonight at 9 30 p.m live on this channel thanks so much for watching have a good one guys bye